Hello everyone, I'm the CCG Collector, and today we are going to take a look inside the Star Wars customizable card game, Premier Introductory Two-Player Game. This is a joint effort between Decipher and Parker Brothers, who you may recognize as the publisher of many board games, and accordingly, this does not quite have the form factor of a collectible card game. I assume this was to make it more accessible to people unfamiliar with the genre, no booster packs of cards, no starter decks that are about that big, you know, but something that looks like a legitimate game you can break open and, and play with a friend, and <laughs> that's exactly what you can do with this. Now, I have the pre-constructed starter decks from Death Star 2 all sleeved up, put in my binder, the one from the Empire Strikes Back 2-player game, put in my binder, but somehow I did not find out until very recently that this actually came with pre-constructed decks as well. I thought it had some premium cards, I thought it had a bunch of random... Premier white border cards, but it turns out these are actually pre-constructed, so I'm going to find out what they are today. Now, I got this on eBay, and fortunately I was able to find one that wasn't factory sealed, so the price is lower, but somehow the pre-constructed decks themselves were still factory sealed. Now, this set also contained a booster pack of Premier Unlimited cards. They're here, they've been opened. I don't care, that's not why I'm going through this anyway. Of course, this game also comes with a large rules booklet. It has some nice big pictures, a lot of explanation for the rules, and so on. So that's a nice touch, and it's far and away better than those little tiny booklets that would come in the starter decks. But that's not what we're here for. We are here for the pre-constructed starter decks, so let's find out what they're all about. We'll begin with the Rebel, the light side, pre-constructed starter deck. And we'll open it up here. Try not to get that stuck on anything. And what do we have? Now we start with Luke. And this was the premium uh, version of Luke. And you can actually, you can't, you wouldn't be able to tell that it's premium. It's lacking that little seeker icon that most premium cards had. Because this is before they introduced that. But it's not actually a part of the Premier set. This is a uh, reduced power version of Luke. So if you have Luke's uh, T16 Skyhopper or Red 5 or any of those cards that use Luke, then this is a great way to, to play it, a very accessible way to play him without shelling out a bunch of money or, well, I guess you didn't really buy cards back then, hoping for the rare real version of Luke in a booster pack. Now you can tell Power 2, Ability 3, Deploy Cost 4, I mean... Not a great card. Must deploy on Tatooine. May not be deployed if two or more of opponent's unique characters on table. But it's still something. You know, it's a common version of Luke, which is nice. You got Rebel Guards and Rebel Troopers. Dune C. Schist of Enin Wolfman. Rebel Trooper and Tals. CZ3. A um, couple of weapons. I believe Run Luke Run is another premium card that is on, that only comes from the introductory two-player game. That's not actually part of the premier set. Don't underestimate our chances. Got a bad feeling about this. Another copy of Luke. And, I mean, for the most part, it's just premier cards. There's nothing particularly special about it. But here is um, one one thing, one unique instance here. So we got Tatooine, Lars, Moisture Farm, right? It says Owen, Lars, Brew, Lars, and Luke deploy minus one here. Well, the card Owen, Lars actually says he deploys free to Lars Moisture Farm. So that is actually an error. This is the only place to get the white bordered uh, Tatooine, Lars, Moisture Farm with the error text. In the original black bordered release, it had it. In the revised, uh, in the, they called it Premier Unlimited uh, edition, they fixed that error. So if you find yourself with a Lars Moisture Farm, white border, mentioning Owen Lars, you know it's from the introductory two-player game. Another copy of Luke. Run Luke Run again. Yeah, I mean, this is a very basic deck, but of course very playable, very serviceable, and uh, a good way to get into the game. There should be another card in here, and we're coming up on it now. Now, there, the Rebel Device Electro Binoculars, I must have passed it uh, without noticing, is another example of an error card. 
I believe, hmm. yeah, here we go, Electro Binoculars. So the original version of this card said, use one force to deploy on any, excuse me, use two force to deploy on any warrior at any time you may peek at the top card of your reserve deck using one force. The corrected version of this card is use one force to deploy on your warrior, peek for two force. So again, white border card, but not corrected, means it came from the two player game. All right. And uh, last in that package is it could be worse. Now we'll take a look at the dark side. I, I don't believe this has any little neat bits like that, uh, error cards, but of course it has its own premium but not premium cards that, uh, well, only were available here. Vader, again, not a great version of the card. Deploy cost seven. Oh, it's scuffed up too, even though it was factory sealed. That's all right. Deploy cost seven, power six, uh, excuse me, power four, ability six. Must deploy on Death Star. May not be deployed if two or more of opponent's unique characters on table. But again, oh, and if um, you're losing a battle, you have to draw Destiny, and it's possible that he'll choke an Imperial present. Again, not a great card, but you got Vader's TIE Fighter. You've got Vader's lightsaber or anything like that. Maybe oh, some interrupts that work with him. Maybe it's something you want to put in your deck. At any rate... It's a nice start for new players. Same deal, Trooper Guard, Stormtrooper, Death Star Trooper, uh, Jawas. Again, very basic. Uh, Vader's Obsession, another premium but not premium card, only available in introductory two-player game, but uh, no icon. Counter Assault, Docking Bay, Vader. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's... Characters, it's weapons, it's a couple of devices, and some interrupts that work with Battle Destiny, um, work with, you know, Vader and Luke interaction, adding more Stormtroopers to your deck, you know, so real basic deck, uh, Death Star Dock and Control Room 327, I believe also a premium from here. Basic deck, but it certainly gets the job done. So, that's the uh, Star Wars introductory two-player game. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope you all learned something today. And I am the CCG Collector. I'll see you next time.